More than 100 leading activists in the spheres of children's rights, women's rights and human rights, together with lawyers, corporate professionals and civil organizations, have called on President Ranil Vikramasinghe to support the decriminalization of same-sex relationships and end discrimination against LGBTQ Sri Lankans. There was no immediate response from the President. This comes in the wake of legal activity around the penal court amendment bill that has been introduced to parliament which would change outdated laws that criminalize same-sex activity the authors of the letter have pointed out to the president that some of those challenging the historic bill brought by MP Premna Dolabatta are making false allegations that the bill would result in endangering children and causing an increase in HIV infections. In the letter, the respected children's and human rights activists and lawyers explain that children are adequately and better protected through several provisions in the penal code that provide increased penalties for child abusers. They reminded the president that sections 365 and 365 a of the penal code have been used to criminalize the lives of innocent people and spread false propaganda that LGBTQ people are child abusers. The letter noted that repealing these laws would correct an historical injustice against a vulnerable community that has contributed greatly to Sri Lanka's cultural, educational, social and economic development. I would like to remind the viewers that the penal code was established in 1885. We are now in the 21st century where countries have moved on, have developed and societies have become more civilized and tolerant. It is important therefore that we establish the facts and we, over 100 of us, have written a letter to the president explaining that there are clauses within the penal code that protects the children, particularly 365B which is grave sexual abuse against children, protects anyone under the age of 18, irrespective of the gender of the perpetrator. Therefore, we believe that these claims are unfounded and misguides the people to create discord, disharmony among the citizens. And we urge everyone to rally around the truth so that we can live harmoniously irrespective of our ethnicity or gender in a society that is tolerant and provides equal rights whether you're a man woman or child earlier political activists jehan hamid and shenali Vaduge and former brigadier atula de silva filed action in court challenging the constitutionality of the proposed penal code amendment bill. This was followed by intervening petitions being filed this Wednesday, objecting to the earlier submissions against the bill. President's counsel Sanjeeva Jayabardana and Dilruk Shivikrama Singha and attorneys at law Tisha Veragoda and N.K. Ashok Baran representing the interviewing petitioners in their petitions pointed out that there are sufficient provisions in the penal code to protect children from abuse and that the proposed bill will remedy a long-standing injustice against the the LGBTQ community in Sri Lanka. The intervening petitions also highlight that several Buddhist and Christian leaders have expressed their support for the LGBTQ community and their rights. Recently, Pope Francis made a statement that laws that criminalize LGBTQ people are a sin and that countries must repeal laws that criminalize LGBTQ people.